What's up YouTube? So I've had this car uh, in my family as part of our family since 2012, June 2012. So we're literally right at 12 years of ownership. Bought this car in uh, at Southtown Motors in Hoover. Uh, Reggie Spires, what's up dude? Uh, anyways, uh, bought this car for 16000 and it's been an impeccable, impeccable car. And I actually have the original sticker and the reason why i'm showing you this if you look in the bottom right hand corner of your screen somebody paid forty six thousand dollars for this car and that was in 2000 what seven ish um translated for it's a lot of money and uh anyways just wanted to show you guys uh i paid 16 for it like i say it had 156,000 miles on it i believe 165 i don't i might feel a little dyslexic but I've cleaned this car up. We're gonna, we've decided to sell it only because we've got a new 16 year old driver and this car is too big and our kids are getting older and we've got another driver coming up. But I just wanted to, I've, I've done a really, a really good thing I feel like in taking care of this car and it is taking care of us. And like I say, it's been in a bunch of videos. And so I just kind of wanted to show, um, We've taken good care of it as well. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the inside of this thing. The steering wheel's a little rashed up, but it's understandable with 270,000 miles on it. But uh, what a cool ride this has been for us. So I just figured I'd show this to you guys. You got your third row back here. Uh, removable center console, captain's chairs. I found the floor mats, ironically, in all the carpets. There's the back seat. Uh, such a cool car. Such a great car in every way. Ride's decent. Um, as I've mentioned, we've got the uh, Land Cruiser and the Lexus. And so it doesn't ride quite as good as those. And so just wanted to show you guys. I did jazz it up a little bit. I, I really, all I did was wash the car and vacuum it and clean out the center console. I did... Uh, do some steam cleaning on the rugs but nothing nothing too crazy um she's got a few dents in her always running michelins but i just wanted to kind of talk about this is um you know that means that a cost of ownership for this car aside from obvious things like fuel um and tires and brakes I, we never, like no joke, even the current, the, the guy who's buying it uh, tomorrow, and I have records of this, is that the Grange Toyota, I didn't have to put a timing belt on it. There was one done at, I think, 90,000. And so, yes, I probably waited a little too long. I put one on it at 250,000. Um, new radiator, it didn't even need it. I just put it in. Um, but the cost over all those years, literally, as far as like major repairs, there was none. I mean, literally zero. Um, those were voluntary. We did. We weren't forced to do those. Uh, I towed. I used this as one of my tow vehicles for my boat for the longest time. But the main thing is, is that you know, other than interest on our loan, which I don't know what it was back in the day, but ultimately, this thing cost us. I'm selling it for almost eight thousand dollars. I paid sixteen. I understand inflation's a real thing, but somebody took a $30,000 hit on this car and nobody wanted it. I think that's, it's kind of the funny thing about it is these cars will run for a million miles. Uh, this is the 4.7 liter. Um, what a great engine, smooth as glass. And like I say, I hate to see it go. I just don't have room in my driveway uh, and parking spaces. So I told the wife we did the Land Rover thing, which I'm not replacing uh, this with a Land Rover. So please don't hate me in the comments. That was more of an experimental thing, which watch my link in the video. I'll link it in here if you want to see that. But ultimately, I think I spent about $2,000 doing the water pump, the radiator, and the timing belt. And again, it wasn't a necessity. I've done all the work on this car myself. For the most part, my own old changes, spark plugs, uh, stuff like that, ran Michelins on it. And what an awesome, awesome car. And this thing would keep running. Um, and so, you know, I, I really hate to let it go because it works perfectly. Ice cold air, dual climate control, ride leveling suspension, like, wow. But 
we've bought other vehicles and I didn't want to let go of those. So we're going to get rid of this, uh, this bad boy once and for all. And I just wanted to post this video, but you know, cost of ownership aside from interest and regular maintenance, um, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. This is why people, you should not be afraid. The moral of this story is don't be afraid to buy. I can only vouch for Toyota products. Don't be afraid to buy one. A hundred thousand miles means nothing. And I mean that this car, we bought it with 150 and it's run like a champ. The only thing I would tell you, if you watch other people's videos about this specific car and this generation of Sequoia, um, I did have some issues with the rear window and it rolling up and down, which is an amazing, amazing feature. But it's, um, I ended up just replacing all the guts. Even the, the guys I bought it from sent me to someone and they screwed it up. They sent me to Hoover Toyota, which is actually where this car came from. So um, anyhow, the we're gonna say goodbye to it tomorrow. And like I say, what a great ride, but other than that, um, the exhaust manifold was cracked on it. Um, and I don't think I, I did buy the parts and, uh, I did do that work. So I'm not factoring that in. I think that was a couple hundred bucks, but I actually bought it that way, knowing there was a small exhaust leak. So again, not anything crazy, but it came, you know, though that's sort of a known issue with these cars. So cracked exhaust manifold. You're talking a couple hundred dollars in parts and then that rear window i think that gave some people fits and that rear latch uh, i think is also something but we're talking very inexpensive stuff so great ride if you ever want to get one of these i, I would trust this car like i say I, I put in the auto trader ad i'd drive it to california in a minute i would i would get in this car right now and drive to california and back that's how much i trust it still so uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed all the other videos that we posted about this car and thank you so much for subscribing. Hit that like button. Take care.